We've all heard of illnesses you can get from bacteria, things like salmonella in undercooked foods. But did you know your child's pet can also make him or her sick, really sick? A salmonella infection can be more than just a pain in the gut, but there are steps you guys can take to avoid that nasty bacteria. And here with us with tips from Children's Hospital is Dr. Shannon Cohen. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. So let's talk about the signs and symptoms of when you've been exposed to salmonella bacteria. Right. So. First and foremost, diarrhea, but mm. also bloody diarrhea is most common. Fever, can be high fever, and then abdominal pain and cramping. Let's talk about how you get this. Right, so Yikes. pets is two, two main ways. Pets is one of them, and mainly reptiles, like iguanas, snakes, turtles. Um, those kinds of pets are most common, the culprits for salmonella. They can carry that, and I know my own mother had it when I was a <laughs> child because that's when they would sell those tiny turtles still in the pet store. They stopped doing that because of this very reason. She was the one who cleaned them, became very, very ill. This is nothing to mess around with. Right, you can get very sick. It can be, you know, a minor self-limiting illness, but mm -hmm. it can even also spread to the bones, to the bloodstream, even to around the covering of the brain. Oh my goodness, so that is scary. So let's talk about who exactly is at risk here. So generally, it's at the opposite ends of the age spectrum, mm -hmm. so the very young and the very old. But you also have to think about immunocompromised people whose yeah. immune system is not functioning normally, and those who are taking antacids, because that helps hmm. prevent the kill of the bacteria in the gut, because it's not acidic in the gut. I did not know that. I, I would venture a lot of people at home did not know that as e either. Uh, so prevention, I think there are some common sense things, but they bear repeating. Right, so since this bacteria lives in the animal feces and you touch that, mm -hmm. good hand washing, always the best prevention. Okay. Um, other things, um, it's best that probably young children don't have these types of reptile pets to minimize their exposure because they're not going to be very good at hand washing. Mm -hmm. And then um, staying away from undercooked foods such as meats and poultries. Um, that are undercooked, and then staying away from unpasteurized milk and juices also. All right, important as well. Thanks so much. Thank we you appreciate for having it. Us. Bo? All right, thank you so much, Lori. Well,